Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a mummy case. I'm going to take two fingers at the top and in the center I'm going to put a dot. From that dot I'm going to draw a curve line out and down on the left. Come back to the dot, curve line out, down on the right. I come back to the left and I draw a little curve line in on the left and a little curve line in on the right. I come back to the left. I draw a straight line up, curve line over, straight line down, connect. Come back to the left. Straight line down, curve line over, straight line up, connect. And on the right, same thing, straight line down, curve line over, straight line up, connect. I come on the inside and I draw a curve line up, over, connect. On the left hand side I draw a curve line out, in, connect. On the left, curve line out, in, connect. On the right. I come up to the top and I draw one, two straight lines. And I come up in the center and I draw a straight line up, Curve line over, straight line down, connect. Right about here I'm going to draw a straight line, curve line, connect on the left. Straight line, curve line on the right. I'm going to put a slightly curved line on the left, slightly curved line on the right. And I'm going to draw the center with a black dot. Right in the middle I draw one straight line, dot, dot, and another straight line. Right in the center I'm going to draw a straight line down, curve line over, straight line up, connect. Now I'm going to put little straight lines on the bottom of that and I come up and I add little straight lines inside on the top. Come over here on the left. I am going to draw a slightly straight line diagonal on the left, slightly straight line on the right, connect the two with a curved line. Come back to the left, draw a straight diagonal down on the left, straight diagonal down on the right. At the bottom, connect the two with a slightly curved line. We're going to draw that slightly curved line again, connect. In the center, draw one straight line, two straight lines, and I'm going to go zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag all the way down. I'm going to come up to this section on the left and I'm going to go curve line, curve line, connect on the left. Curve line, curve line, connect on the right. I'm going to come back down on the left and I'm going to go zig, zag, zig, zag, connect on the left. And on the right I'm going to do zig, zag, zig, zag, connect on the right. At the tip I draw a straight line, curve line, connect, straight line, curve line, connect. Straight line, curve line, connect. Straight line, curve line, connect. If you have room, I'm going to put a curve line, curve line, connect on the right. Curve line, curve line on the left. If you have room again, I'm going to put some little straight lines on each one of these curve lines and I'm going to add a little dot. Now the more decoration you do, the better this looks, but you don't want to jam it up so far you don't have room to do anything else because we're going to bring some of this out when we color. I come back up here to my headdress and I'm going to go curve line on the left, curve line on the right, curve line on the left, curve line on the right, curve line on the left, 
curve line on the right, curve line, jump over, curve line at the top, maybe a little one at the very top. Okay, I think that's all. Now you can make your own designs. These are mine. Your imagination is your own. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the main part I'm concerned about is I want to make sure I do all my background color peach or apricot or light brown. I'm going to do this section peach all the way across. And you can use any variations of color you want, but I want to make sure I get all of the facial body part sections all done in peach. Now I come back in and I start doing my color. So on this section I use a mint green, kind of like a floral. Put some dark blue. Like I said, you can do any colors you want. I'm going to make this purple all the way across. Try and maintain color on the top that you do on the bottom just so that it's a cohesive look. Come in with some brown. And like I said, you can do any kind of decorations that you want. I'm going to make the beard brown. And I'm going to make my headdress at the tippy top, this section red. And then I'm going to use my turquoise blue which is pretty normal coloring for Egyptian motif art all the way across and I'm going to finish off using my green again for my collar. Okay, let's see what it looks like all colored in. Here's my mummy case all colored in. If you go online you can see some examples of real uh, mummy cases. They're pretty spectacular. Okay, bye-bye.